nobody's judging anybody, nobody's pointing anything out. You're just going to play, have a good time, and I'm going to orchestrate you how to get connected with your dog so your dogs want to work for you. And it's going to be a beautiful thing when that happens right there. No matter what that problem is, I guarantee you that once you get a connection with this dog and you show that you are truly the leader, those problems are going to go away. Both in the ring and out of the ring. Guarantee you that. Uh, my name is Jennifer Wells and I have a Papillon. Um, I was really looking forward to this because I did a, a two-day workshop about four months ago um, and have been doing the online video lessons with Eric and sending him probably like, I don't know, four or five, six to eight minute videos a day, like kind of over the top. But um, so we've been doing so much work at home and I was excited to come here and do work in person, get feedback in person, and then also train with more distractions than we do at home. Just, yeah, all the opportunities to practice with Eric in person and get feedback and hear from other people. And, and it's just been um, everything that I had hoped from the first workshop and then all of our lessons like being realized here. Um, and now I'm excited for the next couple of months to really fine tune some more stuff. The, the day that we did the, the uh, photography here and the video, and I can actually see my dog's gait and I can see it on the out and back, which of course I can't see that in the show, um, gives me a lot more confidence that things that I was worried about are actually not really things I need to be worried about. Um, and now I have a strategy to really allow uh, him to, to have his best gait instead of just racing around the ring like we normally do. <laughs> um, and that absolutely carries over to our home life too. Um, the power struggles don't end at the show ring, right? So being able to have a better relationship with him at home and have clearer boundaries about who's in charge, <laughs> it's not always him, um, I think is just gonna make it a lot more enjoyable. And he's so like young. I joke that he's seen almost every room in my house because of how many rooms I've filmed with Caspian in. Um, backyard, lanai, living room, kitchen, <laughs> lounge room. Um, no, I'm just really grateful um, to be here and to improve the relationship I have with my dog and to appreciate him you know, more than I do. And um, I'm really excited. I can see how much more work we have to do still, um, but that's fun also because it means that we're always gonna be learning and growing. And um, you know, six months from now, who knows we'll, what will happen and how he'll be, but um, I'm really excited to keep going. So you're probably all wondering why I've gathered you here today. <laughs> I made some Kool-Aid. I want you to tell me what you think of the flavor. <laughs> I like to have a six-foot leash for training because I want this option to be that far away from my dog. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and let that dog have all six feet of that leash. Then this dog isn't going to be uncomfortable if it wants to have some of its own me time. So when I have this dog on the leash for the first time, or I'm starting to teach communication, the main thing I want to do is I will have the leash in my hand, and then I will have a treat in my pocket, which I can hold with my thumb and forefinger like this. I want to take the treat and put it in front of the dog's nose and lead the dog to a target. I'll tell the dog, touch. When it touches the target, oh, that was great, and reward it with a treat. Now, some people think that target training, the goal of the exercise is for the dog to touch the target. That's one of the goals. I'm trying to make the dog do something which puts me in a leadership position. But the other thing is, I'm trying to get the dog to understand that all communication comes from this hand. Right there. Now you said I had a real big challenge, right? Uh -huh. Okay, you're Rottweiler. Okay, and you've got a six foot leash and a flat link collar. Okay, yes, you don't have to call me sir, that's my dad. Yes, so go ahead and bring your dog in with that setup right there. <clears throat> ah! He has no respect. Well, I already knew that. Back, back, back. Good. 
Good, back up. Oh, that's good. Wait, 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 wait. That's a good, ah, wait, wait. Where am I looking? Over him. Over him. Ah, ah. Come. Good. 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 Yay, that was good. Did you see me stop him? Over here. Good. Uh uh. Wait. All right. Good job. Touch. Good. Easy. Easy. You got it. That was good. <laughs> Knucklehead. Over here. Oh, you're going to be stubborn now. Come. Good. So he didn't come when I used my hand, so I put body into it too. Can he catch? Yeah. Yay. Come. Touch. Mark. Oh, that was awesome. Good job. Okay, this way. Over here. Come in. Good. Very nice. Let's try some chicken. You ain't going wherever you want. This way. Wait. Touch. Good job. Yeah. So I'm shaking my hand to let him know the signal's coming. Are you done with your buffet? Okay. Over here. Over here. Good. This way. Wait. Touch. Oh, that was good. Go see mom. Does he know what the signals are? Yes. Give him a hand. Yes. What I do? Okay. So who else has a no-no bad dog? Okay, grab your dog. Oh, you have the lab too, huh? <laughs> and, and what's this dog's name? Louie. 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 Oh, my goodness gracious. Like yes, I would love Louie. Yes. Ah, 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 ah. Tangle yourself up. Ah. Very nice. Ah. Very ah 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 good very nice turn ah ah good so the first thing we're gonna teach is boundaries ah back up back back good ah Louis has no manners Ooh, he's got treats. I'll work for treats. Ah! Ah! Stay. Louis. Ah! Touch. Touch. Yay! That was good. That was good. What did I do? <laughs> I don't know what I did, but that was pretty cool. Ah! 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 Back up. You're too close.
touch. Yay! That was so good. I am, ah! 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 Easy. Easy. Touch. Good job. Where's the bait? In your pocket. Right in front of his nose. <laughs> Touch. Yes, that was good. Wait. Wait. We're not a confirmation training. This, this has nothing to do with confirmation. I'm just trying ah! letting him know rules, boundaries, and earning respect. Okay. Once I have respect and trust, then I can start confirmation training. So today is just dedicated to letting him know where our relationship is. Ah! Um, we're not at head straight yet. That's tomorrow. Yep. So if you take a dog that's extremely headstrong and you go into a head straight right off the bat, you could get bit. Um. So here, ah, this is less evasive. I'm not trying to be that controlling. I'm just trying to teach this dog manners, trying to teach him Mutual respect. Ah! Mutual respect. Ah! Touch. Oh, that was good. Ah, back up. Good. Back up. Good. Wait. Wait. Ah. Ah. Wait. Touch. Very good. Okay, Mom, where are you? <laughs> nice. See that right here? <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. Get in front, lean forward, walk backwards, and stand. Oh, my gosh. So it, you have to focus on earning respect and trust. What's your dog's name? Heart. Heart? Like in the... Oh, cool. He's your truly your heart dog then. Yes. Good. Okay. Go away. <laughs> yes, he is her heart dog. Good. Very nice. Heart. 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 Yes. Good job. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. What are these? We're going to do target training right here. Good job. Oh, that's so good. We've got a little rabbit there, little chicken. Yum. Good. That's good. That's fine. See, he's not in the frame of mind right now. Heart. Let's go. Good. Come on. Let's go. 
Good. Come on. Very nice. Good. This way. This way. Good. Good. Very nice. Back here. Over here. No, you're not going home yet. <gasps> Touch. Yay, that was good. Okay, over here. Come on. Good, 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 good. We're having fun whether you know it or not. Good. Touch. <gasps> That's good. That's good. That's good. Over here. Good. Oh, so here's where I'll just kind of throw stuff around. Ah, 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 ah. This is a test right here. See this? That's a test. Heart. So what this is telling you is where your relationship is with this dog. So this dog's all about respect. And if this dog and you don't have a relationship yet, it's not going to happen. You can come out here with filet mignon, with favorite food, and it's not going to happen if this dog doesn't feel like you have a relationship right there. And that's what's happening in your situation there, too. Oh, I know. That is so good. I love you. Yes, I do. Touch. Over here. <laughs> so your problem is not that this dog is not food motivated. What's the problem with this dog? Doesn't trust. You got it. You got it. This is your first step right here. This is good. Because this is telling you what the problem is. The problem is this dog doesn't have any respect. Once this dog gets respect, you're going to get a lot out of this dog. Because this is a very nice dog. Yeah. Well, this is where it all starts. As soon as he touches one of these targets, that's your first step. This way. See that? He's starting to earn a little respect there. This way. Heart. Good. Good. Very nice. Good. Oh, that was so close. Good. Okay, let's go this way because I'm going to try something with you. Over here. Very nice. Good. Very nice. Good. Good. Very nice. Good job. That was awesome. Oh, you want more? Did you like that? Did you like that? That was so good. See, that's a big step right there. You know you eat rabbits, right? Okay, let's do the head straight again. Over here. Come on. Come on. You're not going to mom. Come on. Good. This way. Good. Very nice. Very nice. Head straight. Very nice. Uh, uh, uh. Head straight. So what are we doing now? Good. Good. Very, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Testing me. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Good. Very so nice. So he wants to put his nose up in the air, then that shows he does have confidence, right? Oh, he's got lots of confidence. He he's not lacking confidence at all. He, like, we are all beneath him. Okay. <laughs> this, this dog thinks that he is the world. So how dare a peasant try to make me eat something? Very nice. 
But you can't want him to do anything. Head straight. Head straight. Head straight. Very nice. That was good. Yay. I'm so proud of you. He's like, yeah, okay, whatever. Let me lean against you now. So that was a test. I was saying, I'm in charge. And then he's like, let's see. Yeah, are you really? Okay, let's go. The person who acts as a judge is going to come part way up. <laughs> so come back towards me. Heart, heart. Now you stop. Good. Now when you pull up, then that causes him to turn around. Eye contact will kill this exercise. Because then they'll look at you. Heart. Heart. Good. Good. Oh, look at how handsome you are. Give her a hand. Good job. Okay, you're putting way too much pressure on this dog. When you get to that end, you're going like this. Okay? I need you to stand up. I need you to hold the end of the leash and back away from that corner and come over here. Okay, so back away from me. Don't turn. Don't look at him. Listen to my voice. Back up. Don't turn. Don't turn. Don't turn. Turn. <laughs> Yay. Good. So because you give him so much attention, he, he doesn't want to look at the judge. He's focusing on you. And he can sense something from you right there. So this is what happens when you pressure, 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 pressure. Don't do that. You're fidgeting with him. You're mommonizing him. Okay. Let me see some treats. Take him down and back. Don't worry about perfect. Just turn when he's straight. Okay, I had the end of the lead. Good job. Very nice. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> so you are creating all of this. This eye contact tight lead, fidgeting, all that stuff is creating this. If you just relax, enjoy what you're doing, let him be a dog, then he's not going to think about this stuff and he's just going to go do it. Do By the end of Friday, it's going to be a cool dog. Okay, let me bring my heart dog in, please. Nice job. Very nice. Okay, put this dog away. They're all different, but the solution is the same. So the solution for your dog, your dog, heart, and all these are the same thing. Respect and trust. Sometimes it's baby steps. Sometimes it's a little more. But imagine if I took a wild wolf. And it's been out there for a long time. And I said, you're going to work for me. Would I be able to go in and just start training that wolf? That's a wild wolf right there. So what I did is I made him do a lot of little tiny baby steps. Until he got to the point where it's like, okay, well, maybe this guy's not so bad. I wasn't wishy-washy with him. He went into the crate on my terms. He didn't drag me over to the crate. And he ate the rabbit. Yeah, big thing right there. And so with this dog here, he's going to take time. Now he just ate the liver. <laughs> he's going to take time but you can't expect anything big fast and you can't expect him to just give in and give you everything when a dog is not taking a treat it's not that they're not treat oriented and that's a big misconception right there if a dog is not taking a treat it's the relation <laughs> he just ate the other liver 
And it's, it's a situation where they don't respect you enough to do that. It's, again, you're the peasant. How dare you feed me your food like that? So take your time. Do training sessions during feeding time. Because then <laughs> he's got to eat right there. And you take baby steps, baby steps, baby steps until you get to the point where he touches that one consistently. Then he touches this one consistently, touches that consistently, the advanced one consistently. And then you get him to touch front paws on a target. You get him to touch rear paws on a target. You get him to touch all four paws on a target. Once you get this dog to consistently do what you want to do with this dog, now it's time to start confirmation training. But there's no way you're going to be successful with confirmation training on this dog if you don't have that connection. So if you came to me and said, look at him, you're telling all my secrets. <laughs> so if you came to me and said, hey, Eric, I want you to show this dog, there are many breeds that are difficult for handlers to get into. Because these dogs have that connection with you. And usually the connection with you is that they've trained you already. They don't want to go train somebody else. It's a waste of time. They already have somebody perfectly trained for this lifestyle. And then once you get somebody who connects with them, they will do 200%. And when that connection is present, the spark is the most beautiful thing you can ever see.